everybody, I'm Tom Basil. Welcome to the most boring unboxings in the world. This is where we take a look at stuff that's coming into the dice tower and we see what it is. I actually know what this is. It's a very long thing. So this is one of two things. When you get a long package like this, it's either a play mat or it's a box inside a box or in this case, it's not a play mat. It's a sign. So let's take a look at this sign. This is for the Dice Tower Convention. The sign with artwork from Tina. And the graphic design is done by my daughter, Amy. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, this is the party games room. Yeah. I don't know why there's an ax on it. All right, cool, cool. All right, now we got a small little box here. It's a little treasure chest uh, from Fortnite, I don't care, but I got it for the container treasure chest, which I think will fit well in some games. So we're gonna try it out to see if that's the case. All right, well, this box is fairly light, so I'm assuming it's just some card game in here or card games. Oh, these are puzzle boxes, a Fort Narx, Narx box and House of the Dragon from Touch the Game. They're like wooden puzzle boxes. All right, cool. All right, this box here is a Kickstarter, I think. So let's see. I never keep track of what Kickstarters are coming in. Ah, well, timing here is everything. This looks like it is Carnegie. All right, so I actually just played Carnegie. I'll be reviewing it soonish. And this is the deluxe version of it. So cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so interesting. Manhattan Project Madness Midnight. That's not a game that I want that much, but this Energy Empire and then the expansion Energy Empire, which I thought I might never get. It's also a lot smaller than I thought it was. Huh. Well, I'm glad it got delivered. Thanks, Grail Games, for helping out here. We're back to big boxes still. The next two are even bigger. All right, well, let's see what's in this one. Feed the Kraken. Sailor's favorite deduction game. Oh, well, they had the box load on upside down. Fun Tales. Huh, I don't know enough about this one. I don't know if it's good or not. I hope it is. This next box is so big, I'm just going to take this stuff out. Now, I already got a review copy of Massive Darkness, but this is all the other stuff from the Kickstarter pledge. So, Bards and Tinkerers and Metal Angel. Okay. Fey Folk. Some enemies. This lets you be a bard, maybe? Interesting. Rainbow Crossing. That's hilarious. Interesting. I gotta play against these people. Monks and Necromancers versus the Paragon. Extra dice because you always need extra dice. The Kickstarter upgrade pack. Okay. I have the base game, which I'm not gonna pull out right now. It's too much work. And then a bunch of miniatures. This is, I mean, oh, and more dice. Yeah, more dice. Love more dice. Wow. All that is a lot of stuff. And another big box. So many big boxes causing people watching us to be claustrophobic since I have the camera so close. Ooh, all right. Let's see what we got here. 
So we have Bullet Star. This will make my kids happy since they liked Bullet Heart, and this is the sequel to it. And Bullet Heart, <laughs> Dice Tower Seal of Excellence. That's because of my kids. Um, Planetarium. I don't know anything about this one. A War of Whispers. This is a smaller box version than the, uh, the original. And then Anomaly. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Now, we're taking a look at this Fragile box. It is a game called Find the Pickle. This is from Team Custard Crake Kraken. Also, a bunch of pieces here, which looks like this is for Ark Nova, maybe? Okay, cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, it's the new version of Nemo's War, the Ultimate Edition. Ooh. All right, I uh, this box has gotten has seen. This is not a particularly well packaged box. What is in it? A game called Within Walls. Hidden Trader Game. It's from Croatia. All right. Well, that's about all I know. Man, this is the answer. All right, we have a gigantic box here. I think I know what's in this box. It's straight from China, but let's see. Yep, I'm feeling pretty confident. Indeed, indeed. All right, let's open the zipper. Yes! This is the new Dice Tower sign that is our dinosaur picture from our latest Kickstarter. Oh, I love these signs. Oh, I can't wait to take a picture of this one. You've probably already seen it on Facebook. All right, let's see what we got in this little. Package here. Ah, these are 3D buildings for Arc Nova. The little pavilions and the other ones. I like it. Great. Well, this one feels squishy and soft, like it's a pair of socks or something. Maybe. Oh, it's a shirt. That's right. I knew about this shirt. I like it. Look at that. That material. The dice. Alrighty, cool. I'll have to give this, put this one on and wear it in a future video. I like it. All right, this box here, which just went wildly out of focus, is a very, very light box which I did a pretty terrible job at opening. There we go. Huh. Oh, I bet these are miniatures. Since they're all wrapped individually. Whew. Goes to show you, it doesn't matter how much you wrap something. If it comes off the base, it comes off the base. All right, this is a bunch of miniatures for a game, which I'll be showing off later. This is for sure a Kickstarter, but I don't know what Kickstarter it is. Huh. When you put a, I'm always trying to figure out how these people pack these in these envelopes if you can barely get them out. Oh, this is the new Morels. Oh, maybe the old Morels. Uh, this is one that I did not have in the Dice Tower library, and I know enough people like it that I thought we should add it. Is there like an ex ah? Here's the new expansion for it. All right, there we go. All right, now we got a uh, 
Phantom Inc. The word game of unfinished business. I've heard a lot of good things about this party game. So you'll probably see this plate on the dice tower soon. All right, we have another big box here. Let's see what's in it. Another AEG game here. This one is called Wormholes. I don't know a lot about this. Create wormholes where passengers collect, connect the galaxy. All right. It doesn't seem very exciting, but you never know. All right, this box is really light. Come on, Amazon. These are some more animals for Ark Nova. Good luck, minis. All right, I think I have the whole set now. I don't know what's in this box, but I do know they spelled my name wrong on it. Of course, I don't really get that upset about that. I always thought it was weird that people get upset when people spell their name wrong. Life goes on. This game is called Token Terror Battlegrounds. Huh. Was this a Kickstarter? I don't hate how it looks. Huh. Well, maybe it's pretty fun. Finally, my last box here for this week's most boring unboxing world is the, is the heaviest. I mean, this is really heavy for how small it is. But that makes sense because it is all metal coins. Yay, yay, yay. All right, what do we got here? Metal coins for size. Metal coins for barrage. Metal coins for terraforming Mars. Oh, look at these. Metal leaves for Everdell. That's gorgeous. Seven Wonders Duel. Lost Runes of Arnak. Look at those little compasses there. They're amazing. Seven Wonders. Concordia. And the best here, these Feast for Odin ones, which are amazing. Cool. That's all from Moadius from Brazil. That's it, folks, for the most boring unboxings in the world. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you some more on boring unboxings here on the Dice Tower.